Hey everybody, it's Reviews More back in the quick review. This is on the Ninja Foodie Never Stick Frying Pan. So this frying pan is one is Ninja's entry into the non-stick pan and cooking set market. Um, this is a little bit different in that it is a hard anodized pan, which basically means they put it's a chemical reaction coating that's non-stick that goes on aluminum. So this is an aluminum pan or aluminum cook surface that's been chemically anodized. Um, similar pans are out there, but what, effectively what it does is it makes the cooking surface more non-stick however this is a trademarked coating so I don't know if this is just hard anodized or if it's hard anodized with an additional coating I'm leaning towards it being additionally coated uh, before I keep going in the review uh, hit the like and subscribe button it really helps out the channel but there's the pan right there it's advertised as being able to handle higher heats for longer periods of time and not to fall away like other non-stick pans that are out there which is a good thing um, the tests you're going to see here today are going to be just three egg tests. We're going to do a uh, cold start, worst case scenario test, a hot start, use as intended test, and then finally a hot start with oil, which is technically something they they uh, tell you not to use for cooking sprays, but I just use canola spray, so I don't think it's too terrible. I've always done it, and the results were just fine from just a little spoiler there. But if you can see the surface there, you can see it's very rough. It's meant to, um, everything that the advertising on there says is you can use this like cast iron. It works just like cast iron. Um, I, I don't think that's quite appropriate because cast irons are some kind of special cookware, but I'm going to say this is a higher quality piece of cookware compared to things like maybe like the red copper pan and some other ones out there. This one's also, but there's also a higher price to it. So it's about 30 bucks for this little 10 and a quarter inch pan. So here we see the cold start test, all the all the film sped up, so that's why the cooking happens so fast. But we just want to kind of see, worst case scenario, if you throw an egg or something similar onto a cold pan by accident because you just forgot to turn the burner on like we all do sometimes. What occurs is it still have that non-stick kind of power to it, and um, it does. It does pretty well. Um, I, I'm going to be trying pancakes on this pretty soon because I think that's where it's really going to shine without using oil. But um, it, because the surface is non-stick, however they do it, if it's just hard anodized, awesome. If it's not, then they got some kind of secondary coating on there that they don't advertise heavily. I can't tell from the packaging or from the website what their actual uh, methodology is. But you see there, I can just pull up the egg with my little finger and it works just fine. The spatula scoops it right up. Every now and then it leaves up behind a little bit of something, but it's not really stuck on there. It's more like um, it grabbed the, the, the rough edges of the pan itself. And there's no mess left behind. Um, the pan's advertise as metal utensil safe. I always refuse to use metal utensils on anything that's non-stick. Even my cast iron, I, I try not to use metal utensils on it just because you can you can scour it sometimes. I just try to avoid doing that. So out of just personal preference, I don't use metal for scrubbing or anything else on any any pan that is technically only non-stick. Basically stainless steel is about the only thing I really use metal utensils on with any regularity. But there you see it's cooking, and there's not really much more to it. It cooked just fine. Egg tasted great. Nothing really to it. Um, and afterwards, cleanup is super easy. That's probably the really benefit. Well, that's one of the real benefits of these style pans is that it's easy, it's super easy to clean. Just let it cool down, rinse some water through it, and run it through some soap, or put it in the dishwasher because this is also advertised as dishwasher safe. So same exact test, but we're doing with a hot start instead of with a cold start. So this is more. This is the intended use of the pan itself. This is what you're tr supposed to do. You're supposed to just be able to throw up, throw your food in here, and either the natural oils within the food or or even without natural oils like this egg, the um, the whites don't have much oil in them. Obviously, uh, it will still not stick to the pan. Um, what I'm going to do after a month of using this is give a rehash video or just a recap, and um, we're going to jump back into it. And I'm going to wash it as directed, which includes using a dishwasher. This thing will be ran through a dishwasher probably 10 to 15 times, and then I'll cook some eggs on it again. I'll probably cook some sugar and some other things to see what the nonstick properties are and whether they hold up after repeated uses and washes. Because in addition to all the things that Ninja kind of advertises with this, they give a five-year regular use kind of lifetime warranty. So this is lifetime. Really, I think they're talking about five years of regular use. So this is um, just all the various tests. Now, it passed all these tests wonderfully. It did great and you see a little bit of leftover right there that I can get off really easily just kind of fell off the egg and here we go the hot start with oil this is how everyone typically cooks their eggs they have some kind of oil whether it's butter or some kind of spray like I'm using here but this is but Pam in case you don't know is just canola oil it's all it is and really real quick spray on there get a lot get it good and greasy and then we throw the egg in there it starts cooking immediately and popping you'll notice there's actually sizzling taking place because there's actual oil 
but it does great but one thing you'll notice is you don't see fast sliding you don't see like on a stainless steel pan that's been greased really well it like slides all over the place you can move it all around the surface this is kind of slow and that's because the surface of the pan is so rough to the touch I don't know if I assume that is intentional and I don't know if it's unavoidable I prefer my pans especially if I'm cooking on them like this kind of food like eggs pancakes that kind of stuff I prefer them to not be rough surface simply because it makes flipping and moving them a little easier this one I can just do a pan flip because it's so uh, easy to move around but the pan itself as of right now I'm gonna say it works great totally approve of it it does a great job I especially like the fact that it is a very thick pan so a lot of these um, non-stick pans that are out there have very very thin metal cooks cooking surfaces this one's very very thick which makes it even better because as it says it advertises working at hotter temps for longer and the hotter the temp is the more likely your pan is to do things like warp and I've had non-stick pans uh, the red copper pan in particular that I reviewed several years ago was um, warped by the time it finally was decommissioned and turned into a shooting target but um, yeah so overall really happy with the purchase really happy with the product I'm gonna do a follow-up review after cooking on this thing for a month so about 30 ish days if I cook 20 things on it and wash it 20 times I'll kind of just cut it short and do it then but it's gonna go through the dishwasher it's gonna be cooked on regularly with sugary stuff cooking stuff stir fry stuff just a variety of food items to see if it maintains this non-stick and basically the test will be doing three eggs again just like this one so uh, look out for that It'll be something titled like Ninja Foodie Pan one month later or something similar. So I hope the video was helpful, guys. If it was, please hit the like and subscribe. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Talking badly, and have a great day.